Hey good people, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. I'm gonna teach you how to play a fiddle tune called Wagoner. It's in the key of C and it's an intermediate level tune with some challenging string crossing, fourth finger. So if you're a beginner, not the best tune, but that's up to you. I can't tell you what to do, but hopefully this is helpful. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna play the entire tune kind of fast a little bit of swing swing feel and then I'm gonna slow it way down teach it to you part by part note by note Wagoner. I don't know anything about this tune except that I like it. Um, that's going to be like, that should be like a tagline for my life somehow. I don't know anything about this except for I like it. I'll work on it. Uh, just that was off the cuff, but you know, um, anyhow, let's get started. Enough babble from me. Um, we'll start with the first quarter of the A part. with more flow. So, I'm gonna start before, start just after the pickup notes with open E, A low two, open E, low two on E. This is a key part. E. A low two, open E, low two on E. So I strongly suggest you take a moment to pause and practice that, and then we're gonna loop it together. Three, four, So this little phrase makes up most of the first quarter of the A part and the uh, therefore the third quarter of the A part, which is, I think, pretty much the same. All right, so I'm now gonna put, to, we'll put this together. We do that little thing three times. Okay, and then we end the first quarter with three, low, two, open, A, two, E, three, all right, so so far we have which is basically the whole first quarter, okay, and mostly the third quarter. Um, uh, but we are going to do a little pickup of three notes, uh, open E, three, low two. And that's how the song will begin. Got it? So now Pause and practice that entire first quarter on your own. Cool, let's move on to the second quarter of the A part. With more flow. So we're gonna start at A, three, four, three, low two. Three, four, three, low two. And then one, low two, one, open. Notice how those are similar melodic shapes. 
that, those four notes, and so the more you recognize patterns and tunes, the easier it is to learn them. I have a whole series of lessons on how to learn tunes more easily, a free uh, course on Fiddlehead. And one of the lessons is how to notice repeating patterns and tunes. Um, so anyway, that's what we have so far. A three, four, three, low two, one, low two, one. Now some of you may be new to fourth finger or pinky and may find that play, playing on the A string is hard. Well, there's an alternative. You can use open E. So A3, open E, A3, low two. It's fine, it sounds, it's a little different sounding. Maybe even if you can do the fourth, you wanna mix it up and use the open E once in a while. Or use the fourth. All right, that's up to you. Um, so then the second part of the, this phrase in the second quarter is, let me break that down, starting D3, A1, 3, D3, A, A1, 3, and then all on E, low two, open, three, low two. So the second half. That's the second half of the first quarter. And the first half was, then, I'm going to slowly play the entire second quarter. Okay, so the third quarter is almost identical to the first. All right, it starts with. And then the last note is different. The last note will go to E3 instead of A low 2. And it's kind of leading to the fourth quarter, you'll see. All right, so um, that's the third quarter. Uh, if you had looped on the first quarter then and, and paused to practice that, then doing the third quarter is almost a no-brainer if you really did that. So in general, the first thing in a tune, it's just a rule of thumb, not like a law of science, but a rule of thumb, learn the first thing really, really well. It'll unlock the whole tune. All right, so fourth quarter of the A part is, um, let me break it down for you. And with flow. Um, so it would be E, one, low, two, three. One, low, two, three, low, two. And then up to four, low, two, three, low, two. Now if you're new to fourth finger, this would be a good little exercise. So you could just take this little phrase and loop it as an exercise. And then once you start to get it, start it on a different string on A1. And that way you make up your own exercises and write your own exercise book as you go. Um, all right, cool. So that's the whole A part, I broke it down each part for you. Anything is uncertain, you know what I'm gonna say. Pause the video and practice those things that you need to practice now. If you're feeling ready, then we'll now do the entire A part slowly with a play along track. One, two, three.
Cool, let's move on to the B part, first quarter. With more flow. So we're going to start, the first three notes are pickup notes. Let's do those later. Um, starting right on the, the downbeat with D1, open G3, D1. If you've studied the um, melodic variation lessons that I've given, this, this would be a pattern that I call uh, 1, 2, 3, 1. It's the reverse of that. Sounds very mathy, right? But uh, anyway. Um, Tunes are made up of patterns, and so if you can notice them, then you can pick these things up more quickly. Anyway, the tune, the, the, the part here begins with D1, open, G3, D1, and then D, G3, 1, open. So, so far in the first quarter. By the way, if you invest in this first quarter of the B part, guess what? It pays off in the third quarter, which will be a lot easier. And then the second half of this will be... Let's break that down. G3, D1, 3. And then A low 2, open A, D3, 1. Well, second half of the first quarter of the B part. That sounds nice as a little loop. I love practicing that way, just finding just different loop sizes and it start to create new music that way. Um, so let's put this together. So far in the first quarter of the B part, the pickups now a a3 low 2 d so a, a open a d3 d low 2 we add to all that so it'd be like all right that's the entire first quarter the b part let's move on and do the second quarter of the b part With more flow. Starting D, G, 3, 2, D. That's the 1, 2, 3 pattern in reverse again. Just like which began the A part. And then we do G, open D, G, 2, D. That's kind of a cool thing. That would be a good loop as well for you to practice. By the way, for those of you keeping score at home with your music theory, that's a G major triad we're playing. Got a lesson on that on fiddlehead.com, trying triads. Um, so, so far, the second quarter of the B part is. Okay, slow. And then we're going to go to A3. 3, low 2, 1, 3. Again, this is a, th a 3, 2, 1, 3 pattern. Anyway. <laughs> if you know it, you know it. Sorry. Um, but I explain all that stuff about melodic variation on Fiddlehead, how to have, how to make scales fun. All right. So three, low two, one, three, one, open, D three, open. 
So the whole second quarter that we got now is Okay, third quarter is almost identical to the first. So it just ends a little different, all right? So this much is the same. And instead of going back down, we're gonna go a low two, three, open E, low two. That's how the third quarter ends. So the whole third quarter slowly. These tunes sound so sweet when you slow them down. You're like, wow, that's such a nice melody. Um, fourth quarter of the B part, let's do that. Hey, we already know this. It's the fourth quarter of the uh, A part. Ah, we know this whole song now. Let, I'm going to slowly play the entire B part for you. I think I messed up the third quarter. There it is. All right. Thank you so much for watching. So fun doing this for you. Thanks for your support for all the subscribers. And stay tuned for more fun stuff from Fiddlehead. See ya. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.